Welcome to the channel everyone. Uh, today I'm actually going to be putting my uh, 400, my Blueprint 400 uh, crate motor on the JEGS um, engine stand. was going to put this on the, my engine run stand but I forgot I got to do a little bit of, of paint work and stuff to this thing so I've got to actually put it on a, an engine stand first. I'm going to show you some improvements I've done uh, to this JEG stand uh, to uh, make it work a little better. Now, uh, first thing I did was I drilled some quarter inch holes um, in the legs here so I could drop. Right now I got a quarter inch bolt, but I might get like a quarter inch uh, pin or whatever to uh, put in here. But this just keeps the the legs from being able to slide out accidentally uh, they're clamped they're clamped with these bolts right here but I don't really trust them to uh, you know not loosen up or something so um, just drilled quarter inch holes dropped some quarter inch bolts now I know that it'll never uh, kick out so that would be bad if one of those legs kicked out, the engine would probably tip over. So I'm going to get to this in a second, but the uh, second thing I did was I tightened up the head. You can see there's a small amount of movement, but that's all in the gear. You're not going to get away from that. You got a little bit of movement because of the gear. I actually took this cover off and I put a Spacer. There's a there's a gear in here, and then there's a um, another kind of uh, gear set here, and some of the looseness that I showed when I first put this together, uh, some of it or a lot of it was due to uh, this whole thing in here moving. So I I made myself up a little spacer. I actually just took a quarter inch washer, drilled it out. Uh, drilled the center of it out, kind of cleaned it up. Actually, I kind of thinned it out a little bit. It was a little too thick. Um, made this made this a little too tight. But it's really nice and snug now. Um, I also lubed up the ends here because there's there there is no bushing or nothing. So if you if, when you wear this out, both sides. If you if you wear that out, your handle is going to get looser. So I just kind of put some lube. Uh, on that so when it turns it's not creating um, a lot of friction actually just put like some Lucas you can put some grease or whatever anything to lube that up to stop the friction is gonna help so finally uh, the last thing I've done is I added one of these aluminum plates and this is actually from uh, ICT you can see that hopefully and this is the uh, Chevy one so this will actually they say this will work on a Duramax uh, it will work on the Chevy small block big block and it will also work on the LS engines so this will pretty much hold any Chevy engine uh, person might have really heavy duty I actually got this for my big block uh, they say it'll handle that 700 pound big block, no problem. I am going to stick that on here eventually, but first I got to put my small block on it. But anyway, all it is is this plate here. Uh, really nice, it's aluminum. Uh, really thick. Really thick. And uh, it has got comes with four bolts to bolt it to the engine stand. And you can see there's all kinds of adjustability in these four bolts so you can bolt it to just about any engine stand. Unfortunately this JEGS one I had to drill these two bottom holes. I had to drill that through this this plate because I couldn't get any of the holes to line up. So um, not a real big deal but I'm just telling you what I had to do. They say that'll fit most engine uh, 
engine stands. So um, now a benefit of this uh, piece right here is you get to use all your your engine holes. You can use them all when mounting uh, to the engine stand. You know, not just four of them, and you got these weird, I got them over here. You know, you've got these, these pieces right here, these kind of weird engine things, and yeah, it's just, it's just a real, I think a much better way to uh, hold an engine, do an engine stand. I'll probably get another one for our other engine stand. But I want to try this out. I want to try it out on that big block because that's going to be the real test. Uh, this this uh, plate comes with bolts to mount to the motor. You get all these bolts here and then you get these little spacers that will go on and that allows you to run a flywheel or a flex plate um, on your motor and have it on the engine stand. So. Um, that's going to be nice. There's more, there's more bolts here, but that might be for, that might be for, these, some of these might be metric, some of these might be standard, I'm not sure, um, you know, because it is for an LS, it will, it'll work for an LS motor, but anyway, um, I'm going to get uh, my 400 on the engine stand here, and we'll see how this all works out. So there it is on the engine stand. Uh, rolls actually really nice. Um, I'm happy with that. Uh, I really like this 
this plate here, I think it's, uh, you know, it's really nice. It's a lot easier than trying to mess with those weird, uh, I don't know what they call them, but them weird bolt things uh, that you usually got to deal with. Um, you ain't got to adjust anything. It's right there. That's where it goes. Um, you just got to make sure you get your engine kind of straight so you can start all the bolts right. Uh, one thing I am noticing is I don't know if you're going to be able to get a flywheel uh, between here. I think they said flywheel and flex plate, but I think it looks like only flex plate. Uh, you know what? I don't know. These bolts are, might be in the way too, so I don't know. I don't know if you're going to be able to get a flywheel uh, on this uh, using the, using this engine thing because it just doesn't look like there's enough room for a flywheel. Maybe a flex plate. Okay, so um, uh, one thing that uh, I do not like is there is see all this movement. Look at all this movement here. Now that is not, that isn't the gear. Well, it might be, some of the movement might be the gear, but it don't move that much. Um, I open this up and actually the, there's a shaft in here and it's got a keyway and it looks like the keyway is, is that loose that the engine moves that much. And that is, I'm not happy with that at all. I mean, that is not acceptable. I mean, that's not acceptable movement for a motor, I don't think. So probably when I take this motor off, I'm probably gonna have to take a look. I'll take the bolts off, take a look at that shaft, see if I can't tighten that up. But yeah, you know, that, this is, this is, Classic hot rodding guys. You buy something and you pretty much got to modify and customize it uh, You know to your liking some guys that movement they might not care uh, The gear I mean this thing moves I mean so smooth except for all that movement in it but as far as cranking uh, And this ain't the heaviest motor but it cranks really easy. That, that gear is really nice for turning the motor over. So um, I guess every time that motor moves like that, I think it's, I feel like it's gonna fall, but I gotta, I gotta get that looseness out of it. But here you can see another reason why I had to paint the motors. It's got a, it's got a black oil pan. I, I, gotta, I gotta paint it all. I'm gonna paint it the uh, orange, same as, uh, I'm actually gonna paint it the same as my dad's Camaro. It's actually hugger orange, but it, it pretty much looks like Chevy engine orange. Uh, the only difference I'm gonna do on, on this engine versus my dad's is I clear coated uh, his engine. Um, I'm gonna clear coat the, the paint, but I'm gonna clear coat it with the uh, low gloss clear, so it ain't gonna look quite as shiny. But anyway, that's, that's another video, guys. I was just wanting to get an engine on this hoist. Wanted to show you kind of the things I did to kind of improve it. Now I got to do something else. But like I said, that's, that's hot rodding. I mean, whether it be parts for your vehicle or your tools, you know, that's hot rodding. You got to modify them to get them to work uh, the way you want them to work. But anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I will see you guys. I'll leave links uh, for that plate, that engine plate, because that, that, th that thing is slick, guys.